Hey, how you doing? It's Trick or Trauma. And, uh, so this would be day four of having COVID. Um, and uh, realistically, from yesterday's update, um, pretty much all that's still going on. Uh, with the blood pressure's up a little bit, the pulse rate's up a little bit, pulse ox is good. Um, all that stuff is on track of what it should be. Uh, well, I mean, from what it was yesterday, it's not what I'm normally used to. Um, but, you know, actually it seems like the headache and the fog is a little bit less today. But the trade-off to that is I get up this morning and I'm taking a shower and I, I'm washing my hair and I think that there's a possibility that I fell out of the bed last night and must have banged my head or something because my scalp is just aching like hell. Never had that before. You know, I was, I was, I even asked, <laughs> I asked my wife, I was like, is there a chance I fell out of the bed last night? And she was like, what are you talking about? I don't know. I mean, I, when I went to wash my hair, I felt like I might have hit my head on something. And then, you know, it's sore this morning. She was like, no, no, you didn't fall out of the bed. Um, I did have that thing again last night for the second time so far where it felt like I was in Antarctica. I was just freezing to death there for a while. Um, and beyond that, really, um, the only other two, two things is it's like it's traveled down into my legs now. It's kind of odd. And that, you know, my knees began to ache a little bit, which I kind of expected. I've had had cortisone shots in my knees in the last year or two from some stupid stuff I've done. But uh, the, my hamstrings and my calf muscles feel like they're really tight. But you can reach down there and touch them and they're not. But they have the sensation like they're really tight, almost like they're Charlie horse. And, but they're not. And I felt like that was kind of odd. But the one that concerns me is uh, it's gotten into my chest. So if I try to take a deep breath, um, anything like that, I start coughing. I've coughed up stuff today. It looks like you get it off of an oyster bar. And, you know, for me, that's where most people say when you get to that point, it's, it's settled into your chest is when you get that COVID-associated pneumonia. And that's, you know, that's what uh, the bad deal is for most people. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not by any means at the point right now where I'm short of breath. You know, like I said, pulse ox is good, but uh, you know, it's it's getting into my chest and it's getting me to the point where if I try to take a nice deep breath, I start coughing. So, um, and that would really be about the difference for the day is it's, it's starting to settle into my chest and, and I'm having these weird muscle um, sensations where they feel like they're contracted, but they're in all actuality, they're not. Uh, back pain still the same as what it was yesterday um, yeah so anyways you guys have been awesome about commenting and uh, and uh, you know wishing me well and I do truly appreciate that um, we'll see what the next day or two holds as far as this thing settling into my chest I do have some ivermectin and I've been I've been considering um, going ahead and starting taking it so and most of the way that I know that the ivermectin works is ivermectin in itself um, works when you get the COVID pneumonia. That's when it goes to work, and it doesn't it doesn't work any any other time. Um, it just keeps your immune response in your lungs from having an inflammatory response that would actually uh, negate you from being able to transfer oxygen across the membrane into the alveoli. So. You know, you take the ivermectin and it inhibits that inflammatory response, the over response, the inflammatory over response of your body, and then uh, keeps you uh, on your feet and breathing. So I've considered that. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, that's kind of where I'm sitting at. But, you know, like I said, you guys have been awesome. You guys have uh, wished me well in a lot of different ways, um, sent me a lot of messages. I do truly appreciate that. Some of your guys is, uh, some of the guy, of you guys who come on here and tell me what you dealt with um, and the kind of timeline that you had in the comment sections uh, gives me a lot of hope. And, and I read every one of those and I truly appreciate those because that kind of gives me an idea of whether or not I'm on track or if I'm, you know, like way past where I should be. So um, appreciate those tremendously. Thank you for those. And that's kind of where we're at today. So we'll see what tomorrow holds. Anyways, I'm Trick or Drama. You guys have a good day.